Is what do we got? What do we got? Uh, let's do the randomizer, huh? We got one pick already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess, uh, Pena is just automatically gonna go first. Oh wow! I just sorry. I went to, went to Twitter. Um, We've seen Dylan Dennis posting uh, pictures of Logan Paul's fiance with her ex-boyfriends. Oh. Well, this is where we're going, huh? Sorry, it's just the first thing that it's popped just... up. It was her and Bieber, I think. He posted DiCaprio last night. I mean, she's been with a who's who. I know. Uh, I mean, all right. By the way, if I you mean, do yes, this, she's way, a supermodel. If, if, you like. do, if you do this shit, if you go there, you gotta fight. That's no, yes. that's always been my thing. I don't. I like heels. I don't mind people who talk, but you can't do all this and not fight. Yeah. You have to fight at this point. Yeah, I'm with you. You go there off the jump. I know they've been yeah, going yeah. back and forth, but like you go there, you make it that personal. You have to fight, man. You just have to. And uh, I mean, there's just there's just no other oh, way man. to put it. You got to do it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting dirty with it. Uh, all right, let's hit the randomizer here and let's see what we got. <laughs> nice, nice little fast forward on it. Rick will go first. I will go second. Frank will go third. Uh, and we've gotten the official pick from guest picker Juliana Pena. She joins the uh, Parlay Pals, Parlay Boys. Parlay Boys, you both yes. got it wrong already once this episode. Don't I disrespect. Mean, we thought it should be gender neutral if she's going to... Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, she is She is parlay boys. Uh, so she's going to go with Terrence McKinney. The under one and a half. He takes on she, uh, Mike Breeden this weekend. And that is coming in at minus 280. Terrence nice. McKinney, Mike Lock Breeden. Under one and a half. Uh, and that takes us to you, Rick. Yeah, I'm going to go about- over to the... Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but how about moderator Lewis texting me to remind me that I still had one question left on On the Nose? Oh, you still have one question yeah, left, he, and he, we... Moderator Lewis pr- I producing from, the show better than Troy, anyone. Right? Right? Yes. I mean, no, he's I mean, reminding we, me. No one's well, we were going to... I mean, we're going to remind you, because no. we also have the we also have the dap-up video. We'll get to that as well. Oh, you even forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we weren't going to let you go without it. All right, thanks. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, Rick, though, your pick. Yes. Uh, I'm going to head to Bellator. Ooh. Um, and I'm I'm gonna take Islam Ma- Mamadov. It's a lot on Bellator. What, what, what is the line there? Whew, Money let line. Me go through it. I mean, there's like there it is. Islam <laughs> Mamadov minus two forty five, and just like that, we are at minus one ten. Wow, rolling, rolling. Uh, that brings us to me, and for the first time, I feel. Uh, a touch unprepared. I'm going to I'm gonna go to the No, I'm going to go to the main event of the UFC card. I'm going to take, uh, you know, one of my specialties, the over one and a half, uh, alt total, Vicente Luque, RDA, minus 400. That gets us to plus 138 with just Frank to go. Oh, nice. I'm going to stick with the UFC. I'm going to do Khalil Roundtree. And Chris Dawkins under two and a half for minus four hundred. Oh, this is great! And just like that, Parlay boys are in at plus one ninety eight. It's amazing. Well, you guys don't need go. me. Yeah, I mean, do we do we set any rules around? No more uh, elimination. Pena's guest appearance. By no. the way, if Pena is really all in on this, I, I mean. This yeah. is fantastic. This is amazing. We, we have to hit. This is the first week with her. We have this to. It's a tremendous development. Yeah. Th- I mean, we got to hit. The pressure's on. Can I be the bear of bad news? Yeah. What's up? I didn't think they were allowed to advertise pick. Mm. Frank, you suck. All right. I'm, I, I'm legitimately <laughs> I <agree>. asking. <laughs> I agree. About the sucking or the. Uh... Wait, are, aren't they allowed? Aren't they allowed? Uh... The teacher. She can, dude, she can make a pick. She didn't bet anything. All right. That's a good point. Yes, that is correct. I don't know. Now I feel weird about all this. Anyway, we'll move right along. What about your other picks for this weekend? No, it's just what a damn. Well, yeah, seriously. Like, I mean, like, you could have breathed the beans uh, up earlier. Uh, all right, let's go. UFC Apex 78. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to kick it off. 
With a heavyweight bout, Martin Buda, I'm going to take him to win by a decision. He's like a minus 200. I'm getting this big of a flip for a guy that is 3-0 and in the UFC with three wins by decision going up against the guy that's tough and Josh Parisian. Uh, only been knocked out once in his UFC career, and that was super late in the third round. Uh, I think Budai is going to use the clinch, out volume, Parisian. I think he's going to get it done by decision. Maybe he gets a late finish. Uh, wouldn't mind. It wasn't available at the time. Wouldn't mind a same game parlay, Budai in the over one and a half. That still gets you to plus money as well, but I'm going to be rocking with the decision uh, prop. Just couldn't couldn't pass up on this line. I'm actually all props this weekend, but we keep it rolling. First time for that? Yeah, first time. No money lines for me. Uh, Marshall Dolgarian, under two and a half. This was another line that I just didn't really want to pass up. Dolgarian, a lot of question marks for me around him. He is 5-0, and oh, and he is running through essentially everyone that he's fighting, but uh, it isn't the toughest of competition to this point. We also haven't seen him fight in 18 months. Um, but, I mean, through his amateur career as well, we haven't seen the dude go past three minutes. Uh, yes, it could be the case of when he finally takes that step up, in competition, uh, things sort of level out, and he ends up going to a decision. That that could happen here, but at this price, for a guy that does not go long, has that finishing capability going against the guy who also has it in Francis Marshall, five of his seven wins come by finish, uh, I'm happy to pay this on the under two and a half. My man, I mean, a tradition unlike any other. Terrence McKinney fighting, I'm going to be taking the under, whatever the price is set at. Uh, Terrence McKinney, Mike Breeden, under one and a half. Say it every time he fights. 19 professional fights, 18 of which went under one and a half. 15 first round finishes for the guy. Uh, I mean, he is the king of chaos. He gets in there and uh, does not get paid by the hour. He makes sure uh, he's there for a good time, not a long time. I'm also going to be going with Terrence McKinney round one as well. Weird to play uh, a minus money on a round one prop, but guy has 13 professional wins, 12 of them coming in the first round. I I think that's a lot of his win probability is is him getting a finish here in the first round. I think this is a favorable matchup for him. Don't love that he's on short notice, but I think uh, this is a nice bounce back spot for him. Uh, We continue to roll along. Another prop, Marcus McGee, uh, after his phenomenal UFC debut a few months ago, uh, on short notice, I'm going to take him to win by knockout. I know he won by submission last time out, but six of his seven wins are by knockout, and he's fighting a guy in JP buys that five last five rounds of fighting. He has been knocked down eight times, uh, getting dropped multiple times in three of those five rounds and KO'd twice. A couple of those matchups were at flyweight. Now he's moving up to bantamweight, uh, taking on a bigger opponent who can hit like a truck. Like I said, McGee, six. Of his seven wins are coming by knockout, and he did get a knockdown in his UFC debut. I think he is going to find the chin at some point against JP. Another KO prop, I'll be going with Khalil Roundtree. Uh, I mean, when he is on, he is one of the most violent dudes in the UFC. Go back and watch the Carl Roberson fight. Uh, I mean, it was just an obliteration, and I think he's going to be on this weekend going up against Chris Dawkins. Moving down to light heavyweight, Not really going to have a huge size advantage. I don't think he's going to have a speed advantage. And then you just look at his his last few fights. Knocked out three straight losses. um, Finished in all six of his losses. Five by knockout. Uh, I do think Roundtree is going to get him out there at some point. And then I do like a a little cross-promotion, cross-sport parlay, but the odds are not up yet for it. The McKinney-Breeden fight doesn't go to a decision. Uh, the Anthony Joshua Hellenius fight doesn't go to a decision and the, uh, Sullivan Collie fight in Bellator does not go to a decision. That'll probably be around like 175, three legs, but I, I very much like none of those to go the distance. And then last but not least, the fans were clamoring for it. Join the MMA hour. Ooh. Premier league fantasy league. Uh, this will be like unlimited to everyone. You you go off a salary cap. A hundred million dollars is your salary. You gotta, uh, you know, pick your team from there. I've never done it before. I really don't know how it works. Uh, but a bunch of people were asking for it, and the Premier League starts uh, on Friday. So figure we might as well make one. If you don't want to use the league code, I am tweeting out the link as we speak right now, uh, and you can go join from there. Uh, but hopefully it's fun. That is exciting. 
Yeah, I mean, ex- excited for the Premier League to, to kick back up. Oh, I can't believe Friday already. It's back. They must have the shortest off season of anyone in uh, team sports. It's got to be up there. I mean, it ends like it before, ended maybe. end of May, and then if you're if you're Man City, you played. You know, I know they're the last ones, and you know, winner goes to spoils, all that. But like that's that's like a two month break. Yeah. Not to mention if you were playing in, you know, any of the you know, like the under 21 or if it's this cup or that cup or I don't know. That is crazy, but I'm very excited. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.